Hi, I'm Kevin Dundon from Dunbrody House in County Wexford, Ireland. And I have a new range of products called Full On Irish that's coming to you in the USA. Now, what I want to show you here is a starter set of really, really good quality pots and pans. And you might be stuck for some space in your house. This is ideal because it's multi-purpose use. Now, they're, they're stainless steel, really strong, and you can see the base there is really thick. It gives you fantastic heat distribution across the pan. It's got a nice handle on this side, easy to handle. So what you have in the set is you have an eight inch frying pan. Now you can actually cook omelets in this. You can make it heat up a little bit of soup. You've got a 10 inch pan and you have a two and a half quart pot with a lid. Now the beautiful thing about this lid, it's actually see-through. So you can actually see your food cook through the lid. It's got a hole on top so it lets the steam uh, come out of the pot, which is fantastic. This pot you'll probably use all the time. And then for if you were going to do that big Irish stew, this is your pot. It's five quarts with a lid on top. Now I'm a family man. I've got three kids and a beautiful wife. So that is perfect for me. And now what I'm gonna show you how to make is that perfect seafood chowder. First thing you're gonna do is gonna prepare all your vegetables. So we've just got some onions here, nicely chopped. Now for our carrot, you're gonna slice that down. And I'm, you might have noticed, but I'm actually using my own set of knives. Now they are great, fantastic steel, really, really sharp and so easy to keep sharp. There's nothing worse than a blunt knife. These are great. Some leeks, cut them lengthways, and just run your knife through. And you can see it's effortless, how that knife just runs through that leek. And we have our potato. And we're just gonna cube those potatoes as well. Put your vegetables then onto a dish and we'll come back to those in a couple of minutes. Now what I really want to talk to you about this seafood. It's just wonderful. And I actually love seafood because Dunbrody House here in Wexford we're right bang on the coastline so we got our fresh seafood in here daily. It's caught in the morning and it's in our kitchen that afternoon and it's in our restaurant that night and to me that is just it's really a chef's paradise down here. So I've got some cod here. I'm just going to take the skin off. And we're just going to cube that down. And we have some fresh salmon. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful salmon. Again, just you want to just cube that up. Now you might notice I'm using different types of uh, fish and shellfish. It's very important when you're making a seafood cheddar that you use a combination of smoked fish, shellfish and fresh fish. We've got some smoked salmon here. And again, you're just gonna cube that. We have some lovely scallops. Just take the row off. And again, just put them into bite-sized pieces. We have some mussels here. And you have, we call these Dublin Bay prawns. They're actually langoustine, which is a beautiful prawn. And I literally just take off the head like so, and then with the shell, snap it back either, either side, and just give it a wiggle, and the shell will come off, just like that. And then with your thumb, press that down, it just comes out like that. And that is how you peel a langoustine. We're gonna leave one in the shell, and one out of the shell. Okay, so we have our seafood ready, we have our vegetables ready, a little bit of olive oil on there, and a knob of butter and just let that gently heat heat up. First, we're gonna add in our vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna put in some black pepper. I'm actually not gonna use salt in this dish at all because you have the salt already in the smoked salmon, so you don't really need it. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our smoked salmon. Oh, you can actually smell all that love and passion that's gone in to make that smoked salmon. We actually smoked the salmon ourselves here in Dunbrody House. In with our mussels then, and our Dublin Bay prawns, our langoustine, and our scallops. So smoked fish first, second you put in your shellfish, and then thirdly and lastly you put in your fresh fish. We're gonna get some white wine. A 
little bit of fish stock, and some double cream. This is the indulgent part of this particular dish. You can see that beautiful cream, and just gets lovely and rich and creamy. And just put our lid on there. You can see that's come up to the boil, boil nicely there. And to that, we're gonna add in our fresh seafood. And then we're gonna just get some fresh leaf parsley and literally just pick it and pop it in. Now, that's perfect, it's done. So we're gonna serve this up. There you go, you know what? It's so simple to do. You buy the very best seafood you possibly can, pick up my set of pans, put it together, and you too can cook this at home.